What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna talk about what's the best beginner certification for somebody that's just trying to get into cybersecurity. I'm Cyber Tom, back here for another video, and we're gonna talk about a certification that I think is really gonna put you in a position that's gonna be able to put you where you can grasp the important basics of cybersecurity, where a lot of the other certifications really do fall short in my opinion. Let's get into the video. The first question we have to ask ourselves, are certifications in cybersecurity needed? Are these a necessity? Are people just overhyping certifications? Now, I'm kind of torn on this topic. I think that yes, you need them, and sometimes no, you really don't. I think for somebody who's just getting into the field, say your first five years, I even feel like I need them still. Um, I think it's important that you get some certifications. It shows the employer that you have some hands-on knowledge related to the field that you really can't gain other than having the actual experience itself. On the other hand, if you're somebody who has a lot of experience, say you're 5, 10, 15, 20 years into the game, I think it's something that is not as important anymore because of the real good foundational experience that you already have. So I'm not going to hold you back any longer. The best certification that I think that you can get just coming into the field of cybersecurity is going to be the Google cybersecurity certification on Coursera. Now this certification is really starting to make its way up the ranks in the field of cybersecurity. I know you see it on LinkedIn. I know you see it on some discord channels. I know you see it on indeed. A lot of companies are actually starting to ask for the certification. That's when you know it's starting to make headway because at this point it's becoming a great return on your investment i truly do believe that if you do get this certification you've really set yourself a good baseline for employers to look at you as a potential job applicant for their postings now what i do want to say that there are some other things that you should add to that certification um maybe a degree maybe some help desk experience uh maybe you want to get your security plus after the google certification you notice that I said after. I say after because I do think that Security Plus is going to be next tier. Get the, this Google certification first, then go after the Security Plus. I think Google's going to cover a lot of things that are covered in, you know, Network Plus, um, as well as some things that are dabbled in the Security Plus. So you'll get that rounded knowledge and then you can get yourself up to Security Plus. So why is this certification so popular? Why are people trying to get this as fast as they can? Well, there's a few reasons. I think the biggest reason truly is because it's giving you such a well-rounded knowledge. You have the A plus and the network plus and certifications like that, that kind of focus on one area that'll help you in cybersecurity. With the Google cybersecurity certification, you kind of get everything in one package. And I think a lot of folks will start to gravitate towards that as it's an easy way for you to study and accomplish your educational goals. The beginning of this certification, they're gonna teach you about how to mitigate attacks so you're jumping right into it. There's no fluff. You're getting exactly what you need here. And then you're going to go on to learn how to uh, conduct business as a cybersecurity analyst, um, which is a great starting point for a lot of folks trying to get into cybersecurity. You're also going to learn how to identify some risks, threats, and vulnerabilities that are a part of an organization's daily defense. Uh, this is going to give you a good baseline of how we as analysts go about our day of defending and protecting a network. You're going to get to learn some good tools also. Um, this is not just a test about, you know, A, B, C, or D. This is a test about learning the tools that are used in today's professional environment. You're going to learn tools like Linux and SQL. Linux is used a lot more than you would think. And SQL is used in a lot of databases in today's corporate world. So you want to get good hands-on fundamental knowledge of these two systems and as well as 
get yourself some Windows experience as well. That's also important. That's just a little side note here um, as I go through some of these tools. The real cool thing about this is you'll get some hands-on knowledge uh, with a SIM or a SIM, whatever you like to call it. Um, a lot of people dabble in both words. It's not that serious. You will get some hands-on experience in a SIM or a security information event manager which is a pane of glass that's going to kind of bring in the logs from all of your sources whether that be firewalls edr solutions email security and put it in one single pane of glass for you and you'll be able to monitor the organization's network uh, so you'll get a little bit of experience with that that's why the certification is so cool another great tool that they'll introduce you to is python python's huge if you, depending the, the job and the position that you get into, you may use a little Python for some basic scripting to automate certain tasks in cybersecurity. You don't have to be a security engineer that you know co pretty much just codes all day like a software engineer, except in the DevSecOps range of the field. Uh, if you want to do more something along the works of like an analyst, Python is just a great tool for you to be able to spin up some really good, cool scripts. So I think it is important and I think it's a big reason why it's on the certification. Another cool thing, you'll get a little bit of knowledge on how to escalate a security incident. Um, this is something that we do every day. You're gonna need to know how to do that as well. Uh, sometimes things are beyond your scope and you're gonna need to know how to proceed forward. They're also gonna help you try to find and apply for some cybersecurity jobs. That is pretty cool. I could tell you right now, a lot of certain certifications do not do that. So that's great. Um, I think they're really putting their foot out here to try to get people into the field. Now, the certification can be found on Coursera and you simply just type in Google Coursera.com, head over there and search for the Google cybersecurity certification. So sign up to enroll in a free seven day trial now on Coursera. I'll drop the link down in the description below so you can just click it and go right to it. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. I truly do think this is the best certification in 2023 to get you a great rounded level of cybersecurity knowledge before you move on up into other certifications. This is where you should start. What's great about this, it's all done online, which means that you can go at this certification in your own pace. So if you have a busy schedule, you can work around it with this certification. If you haven't taken this yet and you're somebody brand new, consider it. It's worth the time, it's worth the experience, and the resume builder that you're gonna get from it. So guys, I will catch you in another video, and I have more content coming for you guys. And subscribe down below if you have not already. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for being a part of this community. You guys are what makes the channel so great. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. See ya.